Hello and welcome to Cracksoid. Today in this video are 5 methods to enable camera to API for any rooted and non-rooted Android phone. If you want to use Google camera then camera to API must be enabled. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all let's see the rooted methods and later on this video I will show you the non-rooted method as well. But at first I'm going to show you that my phone is rooted and I will check the root status using the root checker application and you can see my phone is rooted. And if you want to root any Xiaomi phone then the video is in the description below. Now I will show you that camera to API is not enabled on my device. And I know two methods to check either camera to API is enabled or not. First method is by using manual camera compatibility application. Download this application from the play store and open it. And click on start. Then on test result, if you see all red crossed marks, then that means camera to API is not enabled. But if there is all green tick mark, that means to be camera to API is enabled. So as you can see, camera to API is disabled on my device. The second method to check camera to API status is by using camera to API probe application. Download the application from the play store and open it. On the hardware support level, you can see there are four options. And if the hardware support level is at level 3 or at full, then that means camera to API is properly enabled. And if the hardware support level is on limited or on legacy, then that means camera to API is not enabled and will not support Google camera. And in my case, it is on legacy. So that means camera to API is disabled. So now let's start our process to enable camera to API. So the first and easiest method to enable camera to API on any rooted phone is by using build prop editor application. Download this application from the Play Store and open it. And if it asks for the super user permission, then grant it. And on the top, you will see search bar. Just click on it and type HAL. And then some search result will appear. And on the persistent section, there is option persist.fender.camera.hall3.enabled. And you can see its value is 0. So now what we have to do is we have to change its value from 0 to 1. So just click on it and change its value from 0 to 1 and then save it. And here you have to remember one thing. In my case there is only one option inside persistent. But in your case if there are multiple lines of code like persist.fender.camera.hall3.enabled persist.camera.hall3.enabled then you have to change their value to 1 as well. And then you have to simply reboot your phone. So now my phone is rebooted and I'm directly going to open manual camera compatibility application and start the test. And you can see there is green tick mark on every section which indicates that camera to API is properly enabled. We'll also check from camera to API probe application and you can see now the hardware support level is at level 3 which means camera to API is properly enabled. And now it supports Google camera. So this one is the first and easiest method to enable camera to API on any rooted Android phone. So now let's jump to our second rooted method. So this is our second rooted method and you can see here my phone is rooted and camera to API is also not enabled. And for this method you have to download rooted file explorer and I'm going to use this file explorer root browser. Download this application from the play store and open it and grant the super user permission. Also allow some other permissions. Click on that three lines on the top left corner and go to the root directory. Here scroll down and search for system folder and click on it and inside it there is build.probe file. Just click on it and open with any text editor. Then you will see bunch of lines of code. Don't get scared here but this method is little complicated. Here you have to search for the persist code that we used on the first method. So search for this code persist.camera.hall3.enabled equals to 0 and persist.fender.camera.hall3.enabled equals to 0. So searching this might be difficult but once you find this code then simply you have to change its value from 0 to 1. Here there is only one option I found. persist.fender.camera.hall3.enabled equals to 0. So now I will click on it and I will replace that 0 with 1. Now click on save icon and then click on save and exit button and then go back and long press your power button and reboot your device. Now the device is completely rebooted. Let's open manual camera compatibility application and click on start. And you can see all the green signals indicates that camera to API is properly enabled. And also on camera to API probe application, the hardware support level is on level 3, which means camera to API is now enabled. And here you need to know one important thing. 
For this, I will go to the root browser and then I will enter into the root directory and then I will search for the system folder and inside it I will open that build.probe file and here suppose after searching a lot for the persist.camera.hall3.enabled equals to 0 and persist.fender.camera.hall3.enabled equals to 0. Suppose you didn't find those lines, then what you have to do is you have to scroll down to the last line and on the new line you have to type this code manually like I am doing right now and the code is persist.camera.hall3.enabled equals to 1 persist.fender.camera.hall3.enabled equals to 1 and then you have to click on that save icon and then click on save and exit and then go back and reboot your phone then after rebooting check the camera to api status then it should be enabled so this was the second method and now let's go for the third rooted method to enable camera to api as you can see here my phone is rooted and camera to api is also not enabled so for this third method, download this Tormex application from the Play Store and open it. So this is the basic interface of Tormex application and here we have to type some commands. So first type su and hit the enter button. Then it will ask for the super user permission. So simply grant the permission. Then you have to type another command and that is set prop space persist dot camera dot hal3 dot enabled space 1 and hit the enter button then type another command which is set prop space persist dot fender dot camera dot hal3 dot enabled space 1 and hit the enter button then type exit exit and hit the enter button again and again type exit exit and hit the enter button then the app will be closed then simply reboot your phone and then check camera to api status and then it will be enabled so this was the third rooted method to enable camera to api on any android phone now let's see how to enable camera to api on non-rooted phone here i have to say one thing the best way to enable camera to api is the rooted method this non-rooted method may not work for all device but i try to manage to enable camera to api on my non-rooted phone so this is our fourth method and you can see my phone is not rooted and camera to api is also not enabled so for this method you need to have custom recovery installed on your device you can search online how to install custom recovery on your device also i have made some videos on how to install custom recovery you can check them from the description section i will suggest you to install orange fox custom recovery on your device and then reboot your phone to the custom recovery mode we are in orange fox custom recovery section First of all click on this menu button and then click on this mount and from here you have to select system and then go back and then inside the file section click on those two dots on the top left corner then source for the system folder and open it again source for build.prop we have to edit this file when you open it there is no option to do edit so go back and long press on build.prop then click on copy then we have to paste it on our internal storage so we scroll down you will see sd card folder just click on that folder this is our internal storage so paste it here click on that tick mark and swipe right to paste that file then reboot the phone to the system click on that reboot system then the phone will reboot to the system now the phone is back to the system so simply go to any file manager and open that build.pro file that you have copied open it with any text editor if you don't have text editor then download it from play store so here also we have to do the same thing that we did on the second method source for persist.camera.hall3.enable equals to 0 and persist.fender.camera.hall3.enable equals to 0 if you find those line then simply change its value from 0 to 1 here i found one of those line i will click on it and change its value from 0 to 1 then save it and then reboot the phone to the custom recovery mode go back and reboot the phone to the custom recovery mode so we're in orange fox custom recovery right now here you have to click on that menu and then click on mount and from here select that system and then go back now we have to copy and paste that build.pro file to the system folder so here is our edited build.pro file long press on it and click on copy then scroll down and click on system folder and paste it here and to paste it just click on that tick mark and then swipe to the right now the file is copied 
Now simply click on that reboot system. Then the phone will reboot to the system. The phone is rebooted. Let's check either camera to API is enabled or not. And as you can see here, finally the camera to API is enabled. So in this way, I managed to enable camera to API on my non-rooted phone. But in case if you didn't find those code inside the build.pro file, then you have to type the code manually, which is persist.camera.hall3.enabled equals to 1. persist.fender.camera.hall3.enabled equals to 1. Then save it and reboot the phone and check camera to API status, then it should be enabled. Okay, I will show you by doing this practically so you will understand it properly. As you can see here, this phone is not rooted and camera to API is also not enabled. So, first of all, let's go to the custom recovery mode. So, go to the custom recovery mode. So, we are in custom recovery mode right now. So simply here click on that menu button and then click on that mount from here select that system and then go back and then click on that two dot on the top left corner then source for the system folder and open it again source for build.pro file as you know that we have to edit this file so long press on it and copy this file then scroll down you will see SD card folder just click on that folder I will paste the file here so I will click on that tick mark and then swipe to the right now the file is copied. Now just click on that reboot system. Then the phone will reboot to the system. Now the phone is rebooted. So now simply go to any file manager and open that copied build.pro file. Open it with any text editor. So here scroll down to the last. And on the new line we have to type some codes. So simply click on that new line and type persist.camera.hall3.enabled equals to 1. And hit the enter button and again type persist.fender.camera.hall3.enabled equals to 1. Now save it and reboot your phone to the custom recovery mode. You can also reboot to custom recovery by long pressing power button and volume up button together. So we are in orange fox custom recovery mode right now. So here again you have to press on that menu button and click on that mount and select system from here and then go back. Here is our build.pro file that we have edited. So simply long press on it and click on copy and then scroll down and source for system folder. Click on that system folder and open it. We have to paste it here. So simply click on that tick mark and swipe to the right. Now the file is copied. Now click on that reboot system. Then the phone will reboot to the system. Now the phone is rebooted. Now simply check camera to API status. So I will go to the manual camera and as you can see here, finally the camera to API is enabled. So in this way you can enable camera to API on non-rooted phone. This was our fourth method. And now let's try our last fifth method. Maybe this method will not work on your non-rooted phone. Maybe you need to root your phone to use this method. I'm not sure about it, but the method worked on my non-rooted device. So that's why I'm showing you this method for you. Maybe this method will work perfectly on all non-rooted device. I'm just not sure about it. I just want you to know the every method to enable camera to API after watching this video. That's why I'm including this method so that you will get more knowledge. So this method is by using ADB. For this you need to have custom recovery installed on your device. You can use any custom recovery for this method. And as you can see my phone is not rooted but I have already installed custom recovery on my phone. So I'll go to the recovery mode and then connect phone to laptop or computer with data cable. Then let's go to the computer. So I'm in my computer now. Here I need to install ADB setup. I'll provide the link of this in the description below. Right click on it and click on run as administrator. Then this kind of interface will appear. Here simply press Y button and hit enter. Press Y again and hit enter button. Wait for some seconds. And again press Y and hit the enter. Then a dialog box will appear. Click on next and click on finish. So ADB drivers are installed on my computer. Now go to C drive. You will see ADB folder. Open it. On the address bar type CMD and hit enter. Then command promote will appear. Here you have to type some commands to enable camera to API. So our first command is adb space devices and hit enter. Then the list of attached devices will show. Then type another command which is adb space cell then hit enter. Now here we have to type our main command which is set probe space persist dot camera dot hl3 dot enable space one and hit enter button 
and type another command that is set probe space persist dot vendor dot camera dot hl3 dot enabled space one at hit enter button then type exit and hit enter again type exit and hit enter then our working pc is done now let's go to our phone now reboot your phone to your system after rebooting your phone let's check whether camera to apa is enabled or not for this you have to open manual camera compatibility app and here it is your camera to api is enabled now you can fully enjoy your google camera without any so problem. these are the five methods to enable camera to api on any rooted and non-rooted android phones i hope you like this video if you do then like this video and comment below also share this video and don't forget to subscribe our cracksoid youtube channel thank you for watching this video see you in my next video until then goodbye